Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be walking through how to integrate Home Assistant with HomeKit. Now, when I first scripted this video, I was delving into YAML code and building inclusion and exclusion filters for specific entities and working out specific ports for HomeKit to broadcast on. But on reading through the documentation thoroughly, I decided to capitalize on the Home Assistant improvements in this area to make it nice and simple. Now, if you'd like a video that shows you the granular YAML approach of setting this up, then let me know in the comments and I'll get this video included into the recording schedule as it's already scripted. So let's take that first bite and put your Apple into Home Assistant. Now, if you don't want to know about the why, but have decided just to do it anyway, then use the timestamps and navigate to the how section of this integration. So why bother integrating the two platforms together? I mean, the majority of devices can be integrated into Home Assistant directly, either through official integrations or through Home Assistant Community Store, or Hacks as it's known. Well, there are a few good reasons on the HomeKit side. The single biggest reason is that this allows you to control Home Assistant devices directly from your iPhone through the native iPhone app. You get the look and feel of the Apple ecosystem controlling your Home Assistant devices directly and not having to open the Home Assistant companion app. Secondly, you can now use controls through Siri to control your devices. Now I'm sure most of us have a love-hate relationship with Siri, but it's come a long way and is now getting close to the market leader, which is Alexa. Sorry to you Google fanboys, please don't hate me in the comments. Thirdly is sharing. Now you can share the controls with visiting guests easily straight from the Apple ecosystem. Let's face it, not everybody is a smart home enthusiast and being able to share the controls with guests so they can control their guest bedroom lights or devices is a big bonus. As you arrived on this video, I'm sure I don't need to explain the benefits of Home Assistant, but to mention a few, the ability to integrate and bring together all devices into a single ecosystem the most powerful home automation platform bar none. What you can automate in Home Assistant is truly astounding. Home Assistant is always pushing for local control and taking the internet or corporate control out of the equation. This not only makes your system more secure, but also means that if a manufacturer goes out of business or decides to stop supporting a device, it will still work. There are two different integrations for Apple HomeKit in Home Assistant. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services, and press the Add Integration in the bottom right hand corner. Search for and select Apple. This will drop you into a submenu for what Home Assistant believes are all things Apple. The important integrations here are HomeKit Bridge and HomeKit Devices. Links in the description to the official Home Assistant documentation. Simply put, the Home Bridge integration allows you to make your Home Assistant entries available in Apple HomeKit. This means they can be controlled from Apple's HomeKit app and Siri, even if those devices are not natively supported by HomeKit. This should not be confused with a second option for HomeKit in the list of integrations, which is the HomeKit devices, which allows you to pull HomeKit enabled devices into Home Assistant. Once Home Assistant is configured to work with these devices, you can export it back to Siri and Apple Home with a HomeBridge integration. Now for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating the setup of the HomeKit bridge and making Home Assistant devices available in HomeKit. But it's important to understand the difference of the two and capitalize in this if needed. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a tutorial on the HomeKit devices integration. While you're in the comments, maybe hit that like and subscribe to the channel. It's really appreciated. To add the HomeKit bridge integration, either press the HomeKit bridge or use the link in the description. You'll be asked which domains you wish to send to HomeKit. Use the drop down to list the domains. I would suggest only selecting the lights domain. Remember you can add additional domains later on. The reason will become clear later on. And press submit. You'll be advised that there is an additional step that needs to be followed in the notifications section. Press submit. Home Assistant will report success and HomeKit will be set up as a device. Make sure you make a note of the device at the setup. Optionally give it an area and press finish. Navigate to the notification section in the left hand menu. Inside of the notification section, you will see HomeKit is asking to pair various devices that you can now control within HomeKit. Open HomeKit on your iPhone. Press the plus icon in the top right hand corner. Press add accessories. 
Now use the camera to scan the QR code. The device should be displayed as three dots connected by small dotted lines. Press the Add to Home. If you get the message that it is not a certified device, press Add anyway. Optionally place the device in a location. As this is a bridge, I'd recommend placing this in a location called System. And press Continue. Change the name to something appropriate and press Continue. HomeKit will confirm that it has added the bridge to the My Home. And press Continue. The integration will now run through a process of presenting every device that was included in the domain you ticked. This is where, since you only ticked lights, you will be thanking me, especially if you have a large number of devices controlled by your home assistant as I have. Now optionally, follow through the process of adding each device and placing it in a room. Alternatively, press the X in the top right hand corner and exit the setup. All your lights will now be displayed and you can manually move these to rooms as required. Now let's test it out. The lights behind me are controlled by Home Assistant, but they are now integrated through into HomeKit. Pressing the button will turn the lights off and turn the lights back on again. If you took my advice and only included a single domain such as lights, we can now go and tune the domain specific bridge easily. Navigate to Settings, Devices and Services, search for and select HomeKit. You should now see the HomeKit bridge that you just created. The name will still be the one that was allocated to us when we created the HomeKit bridge. Remember we changed the name in Apple HomeKit and not in Home Assistant. Now press the three dots to the right. Press Rename. Change the name to reflect the domain this bridge relates to, such as HomeKit Bridge Lights. Now press OK. You'll be presented with two different options, HomeKit Mode and Inclusion Mode. HomeKit Mode has two options of Bridge and Accessories. In the Bridge option, which is the default, Home Assistant will expose multiple entities via a single bridge. And the Accessories option, which must be selected, is used when a single entity needs to be exposed to an accessory. This is necessary for certain types of entities, such as television media players. In other words, the mode settings allow you to choose whether to expose your Home Assistant entities as a single bridge with multiple entities, or as an individual accessory with one entity each to HomeKit. This can be useful for customizing how your devices appear and function within Apple Home ecosystem. The inclusion mode determines which entities are exposed to Apple HomeKit. There are two options, include, which if selected, only the entities you specifically select will be included into the HomeKit. Exclude, which if selected, all entities will be included into HomeKit, except the ones you specifically select. In the example, we are adding Home Assistant light entities to HomeKit. So we'll set this to bridge mode. Now I have one light that I do not wish to send to HomeKit for control, and that's the alarm light group. As such, I will set the inclusion mode to exclude and select only the alarm light group. All other lights will be passed to HomeKit for control. Now press submit. Now select the light you do not wish to be sent to HomeKit for control. In our case, the alarm light group and press submit. Home Assistant will ask you if you wish to set up the advanced configuration for programmable switches. These are outside of the scope of this video, but basically they are entities that can be used to trigger automations or scenes in HomeKit. If you'd like a video specifically around these advanced features, then let me know in the comments below. Press submit. Home Assistant will report success. Now just press finish. Now you can repeat the above process for each domain you wish to integrate from Home Assistant to HomeKit and configure each domain with entities you wish to be controlled. Don't forget that those TV and media players need to be configured as accessories individually and not via a bridge. This is a great integration and works amazingly well. Just remember that as you are combining ecosystems, there are going to be incompatibilities between the two. So make sure you test each device. But in my experience, lights, fans, climate controls and covers are all supported well. Also, we have only covered the Home Assistant to HomeKit integration with HomeKit Bridge. HomeKit devices is essentially the opposite direction of integration and has a different process to configure. If you'd like a video on that, let me know in the comments. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. And if so, then maybe consider liking and subscribing to the channel. And if this helped you get HomeKit fully integrated, then maybe consider a super thanks or buy me a coffee. It's really appreciated by the channel. Until the next one, enjoy your fruit, whatever flavor it is.